Hello and welcome to Beginner's Guide to Dwarf Fortress. My name is Jemalf and in this tutorial series I'm building an example fortress showing how to build a fortress and how to help your dwarf survive. In this part of the series I'll be talking about uniforms. In the previous part I created a basic military squad but I used the default uniform for that squad. So in this video I will uh, show how to customize the uniform, how to equip individual weapons if you happen to create artifact weapons for example, and uh, I'll also show you the best possible armor for the, for the dwarves. So let's begin by going into the military screen with M and uh, with, with N we can check the uniforms. And now here are the default uniforms, leather armor, metal armor and archer. These are kind of uh, profiles or equipment sets if, uh, if the word uniform is, uh, feels, feels strange. So I used this metal armor for my, for my melee squad last time, but this time I want to create my own custom uniform. So I will uh, add a uniform with C and uh, name it with, uh, with N. And uh, I usually like to name, uh, make kind of a starter, starter melee kit. And then I will make a starter ranged kit. And um, I might actually go as far as uh, making this a starter hammer, because I have those silver war hammers that I want my squad to, uh, squad to equip, because they are not, not skilled with any weapon. So uh, that's just the, that's just the name of the uniform. So uh, add a uniform and then you can rename it. And then you can start adding pieces or equipment items into that set. Armors, legs, helm, gloves, boots, shield and weapon. So I will start with armor and I will um, make this kind of a basic, basic kit. I have access to iron and steel. So um, I will, um, I will uh, in the end produce all of these uh, metal items from uh, from um, steel. So I'm adding a breastplate and mail shirt into the armor from the capital A armor menu. Then I go to legs and I'll add greaves and trousers. I'll go to helms and add helm and hood. Then gloves, gauntlets and mittens. Boots, I'll add high boots. The best possible option to go with high boots would be uh, these uh, chouses, uh, or uh, ho however you pronounce them. Uh, they are foreign items, so you need to need to trade them or get them from the from the possible invaders or something or or such. Uh, I don't have them now, so I won't add it, and um, I won't add socks. Uh, of course, it would be nice to have socks under boots, but uh, since they don't offer that much protection, uh, it just works better with just boots. Of course, feel free to add socks if you if you want your dwarves to wear them, but uh, I won't. If I happen to get uh, choices, which is um, kind of, um, I guess it's called sock mail. I'm not sure if it's like a chain mail socks, but it's like a, um, it's, it's like a, it's like tights. Uh, so they go all the way and, and thus protect more than uh, just normal sock. And then uh, I'll add shield and then I'll add weapon. And since this was a starter hammer kit, I have those silver war hammers, I will uh, make this a war hammer. And um, from all these, all these items, I can, uh, I can define a material they should be using. I can even define color. For example, which reminds me, I actually forgot from the armor. I forgot cloaks. I could define the material and I can even define color. For example, if I want my, uh, I won't usually, I, well, I pretty much never go that far. But for example, if I would like my, uh, if I would like my um, elite guards to wear uh, blue, blue cloaks, I, uh, I could do that. But let's define material for the Warhammers because I don't don't want them to uh, get any other war hammers than uh, than uh, silver ones. 
So there we go. We have defined that one. Um, you can define materials for all of these, all of these, but uh, I usually don't because the dwarves uh, tend to be smart enough to uh, equip the best ones they can find. And it's uh, especially early on, you uh, might have one steel breastplate and then you have uh, four copper ones. So you want the soldiers to equip that those copper breastplates if those are all you got. But um, one, thing, uh, one thing I might want to change is to make sure that they use uh, leather cloaks and leather hoods. And... Um, if I have access to leather, so instead of uh, instead of using cloth ones, and uh, one note about that, I will create uh, kind of ultimate armor into a different set. But uh, already here, I should mention that uh, dwarf fortress equipment and item system works in a way that um, you can wear multiple pieces of same equipment, depending on some variables. You can look into details in the in the dwarf fortress wiki. But for example, you can wear free mail search kind of under the breastplates. You can have six cloaks in your back. You can have six hoods in your head on top of the helms or the helm. Um, and similarly, you can wear two pairs of trousers. And uh, so uh, just saying that already, this is the basic set. So I'm only adding one. And um, so that's my uh, that's my um, Warhammer set. I will uh, quickly here create a similar uniform, add uniform with C, and I will make the starter melee, kind of a generic one, because I will uh, will add non-hammer soldiers into the into the squad. So again, uh, starting from the A as armor. And uh, moving, moving here using uh, using the keyboard, breastplates, mail shirts, cloaks, then go into legs. If you don't have access to metals, you'll uh, of course be creating uh, leather armor. In this case, you would keep, you would make uh, leather leggings instead of uh, greaves, which are always always metal. Also, if you are looking for the absolute perfect armor if you can get long skirts from uh, from the traders or invaders those are the best kind of uh, best kind of uh, cloth in addition to the greaves which you can only only wear one and then uh, going to helm in some uh, some previous versions of uh, as i mentioned you can wear wear multiple uh, hoods over the helm. In some earlier versions you could actually also wear uh, multiple caps in addition to uh, to helms, but these are now being uh, singlified. Uh, is that a word? Well, you can only wear one helm or one cap. And uh, since helms are made of uh, made of metal, are better protection, I'm, uh, I'm using those. Then uh, gloves. Again here, um, uh, if, you, if you can produce leather but don't have metal, uh, this can this will be still uh, still used. Although wait a minute, gauntlets, right? Gauntlets are always metal. So uh, same thing as with uh, with the greaves. If you uh, if you only have access to uh, access to leather, uh, just make them out of glo gloves or just uh, just define handwear if you want. Okay, so gauntlets and mittens, then boots. And again, if you uh, if you can't uh, can to produce, you can even just define footwear if you want and then define material or something. And again, I won't, won't put any socks here. And then a shield. And then a weapon. And for this one, I will make an individual choice melee. And it's here uh, on the on the second page. And here I won't define any, uh, any uh, material. And then lastly, this is also preparation for the next video, I will create a starter ranged kit. So again, add the uniform, kind of repetitive, but uh, that's how it that's how it is. So there we go. Then armor. This is pretty much the same. If you have limited number of uh, limited number of uh, supplies, you can put your uh, put your ranged into a kind of a lesser gear, if you will. Again, I forgot the cloak. Uh, lesser gear because they won't be in the front lines. But however, the armor armor uh, is important to the to the ranged as well. So uh, just put them in the same gear 
if you have the supplies and uh, pretty much if you have metals you very likely have uh, enough of them to produce uh, produce them for the whole squad so gauntlets and mittens high boots and um, for for the range squad um, they can use shields and uh, they will protect them uh, with that of course they won't be using uh, using shields with their weapon but they will have the shield and uh, there's uh, maybe here I could mention about the shields that uh, the material of the shields this might change in some uh, later versions the material of the shield doesn't affect how well the shield blocks attacks which in uh, practice means that uh, uh, you might want to create the ranged the shields for the ranged from say wood because they are uh, very cheap to make and uh, the material of the shield only uh, only affects if the if the dwarf does shield bash and uh, that's something that the melee dwarfs do or someone with uh, with one-handed one-handed weapon so uh, i will actually do that here i will uh, make the ranged range shields uh of wood ones and uh, then i have to remember to actually do those so that's the shield and then weapon individual choice ranged or uh, since I probably won't make any archers, I will uh, might as well make it crossbows. Uh, I won't define any material here. Uh, since uh, dwarves will bash enemies with the crossbow if they run out of bolts, you uh, probably want to prefer uh, metal uh, crossbows. Uh, make them out of uh, out of um, a steel, for example. Uh, I'm not sure if you can make crossbows out of silver, but if you can, the same thing applies. That that's the best kind of, for the blunt weapon. Um, the, but however, if you can, if you have um, a very skilled uh, crossbow maker or boyer, um, always make the, always use the best quality crossbows because if the if the crossbow dwarf is bashing without an ammo something has probably gone wrong already so uh you well, what you want to get uh, if you can produce very high quality wooden crossbows use those so that's why i'm leaving the material out from here i i just let the dwarves choose whatever they want and uh, they will prefer metal crossbows i think but um either way yeah that's that's fine all right so that's the that's the ranged uniform um i will uh i will show the best possible armor uh in just a moment but already here let me uh, show how to equip the soldiers uh, so i will go into uh let's actually start from this screen with m to military screen and then choose equip and then uh, not going to uniforms but capital u for assign uniforms and uh, then I will choose uh, the starter hammer for this squad, and I will press Shift Enter to use this uh, this uniform for this whole squad. So now everyone, if I go into positions, actually I will go to equip without assign uniforms. I can see that they are now uh, now have this uh, uniform on them. However. They don't have any equipped yet because they will now go and gather whatever I have, and then there will be there will be a symbol here, green symbol that they have this thing equipped. We can take a look at that later. Um, before I show the best possible armor, uh, if you want to equip individual items, for example, you get lucky with the strange mood, and someone produces uh, an artifact silver warhammer or some uh, artifact crossbow, for example. Uh, you can uh, you can add individual items to each soldier. You could actually do this do this for everything and not even use the uniforms. But uh, the uniforms just make things more convenient. So I will uh, scroll down this list until I get to the weapon, and uh, then I could with Enter delete this, and then with uh, with uh, capital W 
add a specific weapon. And for example, if I if I want the whole squad to use silver warhammers, but I want the militia commander to use, uh, say, uh, a mace. If if this dwarf was very skilled with mace, I might use maces. So I could uh, individually uh, make this one dwarf use mace, or I could create a mace uniform and apply that. But uh, usually, I only use this tool give specific weapons if I happen to create artifact weapons. But um, I, uh, I won't do that, so I will actually assign uniform and put this fellow back on starter hammer. So now they all, all have that uh, starter hammer on. So that's how you uh, assign uniforms, that's how you create the uniforms to begin with, and then uh, you can uh, you can with the equip um, assign individual specific weapons if you want. And then uh, now lastly, let's create that best possible armor. So let's go to uniforms, let's add and uh, name it. Let's make it ultimate melee. And let's start with armor. I will, I will define materials later if I want to. So one breastplate, three mail shirts, Six cloaks, legs. Uh, I will make this uh, out of non-foreign items. So one greaves, and the best possible would be, I think, three skirts. But I will make two trousers. It doesn't show anymore because it goes out of screen. But there are two trousers there, and then helms. Uh, one helm and six hoods. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then the gloves. Gauntlets, mittens, boots, high boots, and um, again, uh, if I'm making the best possible armor, it would be the jawses, and uh, and uh, since I don't have those, I could use socks, but I won't add them because uh, these, for some reason, gets mixed up with the with the boots. Uh, you can try try if it works better for you, but. Uh, from uh, from the past, I've uh, just had easier time without socks, and then a uh, shield. Using shield and then weapon, and this was ultimate melee, so I will make individual choice melee. And um, for all of these items, the best material would be adamantine if I had any. But in in practice, I would create all of these out of steel, and uh, all of the cloth pieces from. Uh, uh, from leather, um, all, all the all non-metal pieces out of leather, like cloaks and hoods and uh, mittens and trousers. And um, then uh, if I could afford it, I would make uh, individual pieces from uh, from adamantine, say uh, one piece of mail shirt, maybe uh, maybe the helm out of adamantine and things like that. But for, for now, I will uh, just leave these out of without the materials, uh, because I actually won't assign this to anyone. And uh, in preparation, I will already create uh, the ultimate ranged here as well, which is pretty much the same. Um, I don't think there is... Uh, yeah, there is no copy option here. That's uh, maybe something that could be added here in the, here in the future. All right, let's... Uh, do the same thing, uh, same thing again. Two pairs of trousers, helms, six hoods, gauntlets, mittens, high boots, shield, individual choice, ranged. So there I have them now. They are ready mm, when I get to the point that I can actually mass produce. Uh, mail shirts and uh, things like that. So that's how you manage uniforms. That's how you create different kinds of uniforms. I also showed you how to assign the uniforms, how to uh, how to equip individual specific weapons, and the same thing, of course, applies to armor. If you're uh, if you get a lucky strange mood from the armor smith, create a artifact breastplate, maybe equip that for your uh, for your best soldier or something like that. And um, before I end this video, I will uh, 
show some other things I already created here, pretty much the same things I have done in the previous videos, just uh, showing the complete uh, complete progress of the of the fortress. First of all, I have uh, created or queued up some items. So let's go to unit list and manager U and M. And um, keeping my mason busy, creating more cabinets, covers, drones, tables, and um, I'm also preparing in to create uh, create an underground well. And for that, I have already uh, created uh, these are kind of optional for that, but I, I want to use them. I'm making some crates. I'm making some floodgates. I'm making some corkscrews and pipe sections for the for the pumps. And um, in addition to that, uh, the same old things are still here. And I will queue a new order for, let's make wood shield. Um, let's make eight of those for now. I will soon get, I hope, a big migrant wave and I will uh, make my military squads full and uh, I will have a dedicated military. So those those military dwarves won't do anything else but be in the military. And uh, I will have one melee squad, one one range squad, and then uh, if I have more dwarves, I will start creating a third one and, and so on. So that's those are the items I have queued. And um, I haven't unpaused the game from the end of the previous video, at least I don't think. Uh, one thing here is that the, this stockpile is not working anymore. That sometimes happens with the generic stockpile. As uh, you might remember, this is one generic stockpile where I had everything in the in the beginning. So I will uh, I will just uh, I will just remove it. Sometimes sometimes it happens. The stockpiles work stop working if you customize them uh, them a lot. So I will uh, create here uh, uh, ammunition stockpile and the weapon stockpile and armor stockpile. Armor, armor, armor D. And then uh, lastly, animal, which is pretty much the cages. And then uh, lastly, uh, bars and blocks here for now. And I think that's everything I had there. Uh, everything else is on individual stockpiles already. All right, so that is done. Uh, they will carry it. Let's see, what, what do they have here? They have some weapon pins, bar and block pins. Uh, gauges, bar and block pins. All right. Mm, which reminds me, I will queue unit list manager more wooden pins. Let's make twenty out of them. Keep the keep the carpenter busy. All right. Then uh, let's go downstairs to see uh, see what I have done. It's not much. I've created another layer of bedrooms. And now. One thing, no, never mind. It was not there. Uh, some some tables to the dining room, just a couple, and uh, then I as, uh, then I queued up more of them to be built. I put doors in the hospital. Um, can I already build the traction table? No, 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 not that one. Uh, traction bench. Yes. I almost, almost forgot this. So let's create drugs and benches here in the hospital. So uh, I have, uh, I have built these benches already in the, from the components. So I will just place them here. So there's now two, two drugs and benches there. And uh, if I go with I, look at the zone, capital H for hospital information, I see that uh, there are. Uh, everything there now. I need more thread there. I'm processing uh, processing the plants and uh, I'm in the process of making the soap. I'm pressing the rock nuts for rock nuts oil and uh, turn that into uh, into soap. So I haven't butchered many things. I don't have tallow. Let me double check that. Uh, not that one, but uh, are you making, wait a minute, orders, orders, workshop orders, 
uh, auto loom all thread. So uh, I went into orders as in O, workshop orders as in W, and uh, for a moment I had uh, only auto loom on for. Uh, wait a minute, I don't want that. I exactly don't want that because I want some thread to be done. Never mind. So uh, when when I have enough thread in the, in the hospital, I might turn this on, but yeah, that's that's what I don't want to do. If I want cloth made, I will uh, I will try to try to dye them into some color. Little uh, brain freeze there, and then uh, I placed some coffers and cabinets into the into the bedrooms I already had, and already before I have placed doors here. And then if I go one level below, here is my new bedroom level using using another kind of design and I will um, I will finalize it here this is um, I think this is from the wiki I am um, I think yeah it's probably from the wiki um, this can be uh, expanded expanded on this same level uh, as far as uh, as far as you want so basically uh, the idea is that uh, as many bedrooms as possible on a single level, while keeping the distance from the staircases as uh, as small as possible. So uh, even even here in the in the furthest furthest bedroom from the central staircase, it's it's not that long distance. And with these additional staircases here, that I can build up from uh, all the way. Uh, all the way from upper levels, uh, they might might help the dwarves, but I haven't connected them anywhere. And then uh, these corridors here, I can uh, I can expand this on the same level while still keeping it relatively uh, short distance from the staircase. So that's uh, that's in preparation for the upcoming uh, upcoming migrant wave. And um, I think that's it for this video. In the next video, I will create a ranged dwarf squad. So create marks, marks dwarfs, create a squad, and uh, create an archery range for them to practice in. And uh, action already in preparation for that. I will uh, queue up some uh, wooden bolts. Uh, I don't have any bone. So uh, I will make some practice bolts out of uh, out of wood. Let's make six sets for now, so that'll be 150. And um, here between the videos, I will um, I will assign some things to be uh, things to be dug out, uh, namely that archery rains, and then I will uh, then I will show it you show it to you in the next video. In addition to uh, creating a creating a range squad. Actually, I think I will show it to you. You will uh, see uh, how I designed the archery, archery range. But anyway, I hope you found this video useful with the uniforms. Um, how to how to assign the individual items, how to assign the uniforms, how to create the uniforms to begin with. And um, in the next one, ranged military, marks dwarves, archery range. I see you there. Take care. Bye bye.